What's up gamers and collectors, DGC back with another video and today I have a little bit of a, a warning to present to gamers about a certain game company. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you know, I am big into shoot 'em ups I love getting these big limited editions. I love looking at all the knickknacks. I love playing the games. I love streaming them. It's often what I usually stream is uh, shoot 'em ups and stuff. And, and, you know, I just like them. Death Smiles, Cotton Games, you know, all these PlayAsia exclusive uh, shoot 'em ups I love getting them. Uh, it's a big staple on the channel. It's something that I often get and show in the unboxings and, and collection videos and whatnot, right? So... It's, you know, it, it's big enough to me to where this company follows me on Twitter, right? And I'm not saying that as a bragging thing, but, it, it, you know, when I went to their Twitter page to kind of do some investigating, I was like, oh, shit, they actually follow me. So that means they know who I am. They clearly know that I do, like, shoot 'em up unboxings and talk about shoot 'em ups and stream shoot 'em ups pretty regularly, right? So it's First Press Games. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just call them out right out, out the gate. Um, you know, they have 10... They have, they are following 1,077 people. I'm one of them. They have 10,400 and change followers, or the yeah, the, follow them. Uh, I pre-ordered, and uh, hold on, I'm gonna pull up the order. On November 23rd at 2:35 p.m. specifically, uh, I pre-ordered Natsuki Chronicles PS4 Collector's Edition. Uh, Ginger Force PS4 Collector's Edition and Rival Mega Guns PS4 Collector's Edition all in one order. It equaled $288 even with shipping. Um, and you know, at that point in time, I was like, yeah, boy, some new shoot 'em ups. Collector's Editions. And then, and these are some sweet Collector's Editions, right? I'm not going to pull it up, but you know, uh, Ginger Force that came out uh, 360 in Japan. Um, Rival Mega Guns is like a newer current-ish, like, PS4 generation kind of shoot 'em up uh, To my knowledge, it doesn't have a physical release yet, so I was like, oh, man, this is sweet. And then Natsuki Chronicles, also 360 uh, Japan release, uh, and then, you know, Ar Japan Arcade. Um, I guess, I, I think Ginger Force and Natsuki are both cave games, and then Rival Mega Guns, I don't know who that's made by. But again, all cool games, wanted them. Um, Pre-ordered it on the 23rd. They charged my bank account on the 24th. Uh, they, they, they weren't, they weren't shy about charging that bank account real fucking quick though. So December 6th, I email them and says, and I say to them on your site, it just says coming soon. Can I get a definitive date on what coming soon means? Right? So it was upon this time when I emailed them, I really thought back about three years ago, I had already pre-ordered these games and canceled them at one point in time three years prior. But then I was like, you know what? Pandemic, weird nonsense happened. Let's give it another shot. So I was like, all right, riding through this. Um, December 6th, email them about that. They say, hey, it'll be a couple more weeks. We had an issue with the manufacturing of the, um, like the big outer box part, right? Okay, that can happen, you know, whatever. Mistakes happen in manufacturing. That's fine. You're in a new company. That's, that's, I'll accept that as an answer, right? Um, so I wait a couple more weeks and then December 18th, I email them again and I say, Hey, what's going on? It's been a couple weeks. Any updates? Uh, they respond back, you know, decent little size message. Hey, we're still having issues finding a new company. And at this point I was like, this is getting a little fishy, but I was like, all right, I'll wait a couple more weeks. So mind you, um, then uh, I think it was December uh, 26th, the day after Christmas, I finally, I finally just email them. I'm like, you know what? I waited all, like another week and I was like, you know what? Just cancel these orders. I I'm good. I don't want this. Nah. Because 288 let's call it what it is, that's $300. It's not a lot, like, it's not a lot of money, but it's enough money to where it's like, if it were like a $25 game that I pre-ordered and I had to cancel the bank card because it was a scam and then um, I would just eat that $25 loss. But a $300 loss... That's two trips to the grocery store for me. That's four or five tanks of gas, right? Like, that's that's a lot of money for me, right? So I'm not going to just let that go. Not that I would let 25 go, but I, I'd be less mad about 25. But I digress. So at 288, uh, December 26, 
I email them again, hey, let's get a refund going. They, I, I then find, uh, I get an auto reply email from a robot saying, oh, hey, we're on Christmas break and then we'll be back on like January 10th or somewhere in that time frame, right? So then I finally get another reply on January 12th, hey, we're still trying to get these boxes made. So I'm just like, dude, I just, I, I don't really care at this point. I just want my fucking refund, right? So they don't give me the refund. They still don't. Uh, at this point in time, I keep emailing them. I've emailed them four or five times since the January uh, 12th date. Uh, we're now at February 14 when I'm recording this and probably posting this. So we're now a month past when I've asked four or five times for a refund. So much so that I've done it through the replies to their actual emails from their actual customer support person, as well as the contact us section on their website. So it's pretty clear to me at this point in time, they're not gonna respond. This is clearly a scam company. So I'm just issuing this warning to everyone in the gaming community. This video is not gonna be monetized. I don't want you to even share the video. I just want you to share the knowledge that this is a scam company and they are ripping people off. Uh, these games are never gonna exist. Um, it's just blatantly obvious to me at this point. I, I feel bamboozled by it. Um, and what's fun, it's funny, but it's also kind of discouraging and, and kind of makes me feel icky for some reason. They follow me on Twitter. Not that I have a big following on Twitter, but again, I, I, I'm at least somewhat in the gaming community and, and some companies probably at least know who I am at this point, right? So, uh, you know, it's well, you know, I do... I, from time to time, I do a nice unboxing of some shoot 'em ups. I definitely stream shoot 'em ups a lot, and I definitely show them in my collection videos quite often. So, at the very least, I'm known in the in the collecting scene and um, some different other scenes in the, in the gaming in, uh, community. You know, there's lots of different little niches in the community. But with that being said, First Press Games scam company, you're done, son. You're done, son. Not, I'm not having it. I already contacted PNC. That's one of my bank accounts the one that I charged it to, and, uh, you know, they're going to get my money back. There's no, They're partnered with Visa. Visa's getting my money back. They're not going to just allow that to happen, right? Uh, I made the mistake of buying it with a debit card and not my credit card, because if it were a credit card, they'd get that shit back within 24 hours. Life lesson to you and myself, always do pre-orders with a credit card, because a credit card will automatically uh, negate the money from the company, whereas a debit card, they have to do like a a fact-finding mission that can take 45 to 90 days, which is just annoying. So, you know, there's a helpful hint there. Always do it with a credit card in the future. That's what the, the bank lady told me on the phone. She's like, yeah, just do it with a credit card next time. And we wouldn't really be having this conversation. It would just be canceled right then and there. Kind of is what it is. That's my fault for not thinking about that. I, I kind of knew that that was a thing, but I didn't really think about it. But uh, hopefully I get my money back. Hopefully this isn't like a scammy company in the sense that they're just stealing my money and not like my actual information, but could be doing that as well. Uh, so yeah, first press games. Come here, you mother.